so in this video I would be discussing the iterative way of doing the reverse reversing of linked list in the next video I will also uh, give a solution which will be recursive in nature so iterative is uh, a bit simpler to understand so first let's start with this so I have one linked list let's say it has four nodes and the last node would, would be pointing to nil and the first node would be the head node so our aim is that at the end of this whole process these should go away and we should get this or let me copy this so these uh, next pointers would change after and head should point to 4 if we take any 3 nodes at any point of time we have 1 2 3 if we take this window if we see this window so it, it may look very simple like uh, go here and then move its next here then m go to next node again do the same thing move its next here again go next and so on so uh, so we would exactly do the same thing so let's initialize the, let's start from this node we have a current node and let's keep a previous node because we want to set the next of current node to previous node so we should have a reference to one previous node so initially let's there is no node before this one so it will be null and we initialize the current node with the first node head node and also keep track of a next node so we will do this we will do uh, the reversing of pointer here and move this in the next iteration C will move here current node will move here next will move here and previous will come here then current will go here and finally current will go here and in one step further we can move current here and then we will see that current becomes nil so we will stop there so we can uh, write some pseudo code here so we can uh, start with current we will start as head or let's remove the syntax just keep it simple current is head next is equal to currents next and before that previous is null so this is the initial stage then what we will do while current so till we have valid current node so when we don't have current this will be at this stage we have in the last state we will have current pointing to this and previous will be 4 and then head should be that previous so this we know now let's fill in this if current is valid then what we will do currents next should always point to previous here also 
previous is null so finally once next will be null like here so we will write here so this we have updated now we need to move the pointers so once I have updated this previous will come here current will move next and next will again move further so we will move previous is equal to whatever was current in the previous stage now it becomes the pre previous node <coughs> and current becomes next so whatever was the next node like when 2 was the current node in the previous stage now 2 becomes previous 3, be 3 becomes current and 3 was next in the previous node and we also need to move the next so it may be possible that next was earlier this 4 so current has become 4 or uh, current was 4 for the last node current will be 4 and next will be null so now after updating this current will move to null so its next will not exist so if next was there then update next otherwise we have reached the end so we will terminate automatically so suppose current is 4 I will show the last part current is 4 then currents next is equal to previous so force next will be previous so here current is 4 previous will be 3 so this we did here then previous becomes 4 so now previous is pointing to 4 and current is equal to next next was null so current is now pointing here and next was already nil so this part will not execute and again this will check for current now current is pointing to nil so it will come out of this loop and it will come here and it will set the head to previous so previous is 4 so it will move this head pointer to here and we are done so let's write a code for it it's always good to write some comment reverse linked list and to make it more clear I would write iterative here and uh, earlier we have been using this uh, global head let's write some good code here I will So here head node will head pointer will itself change so that's why I'm passing pointer to node pointer so head is itself a pointer and it will also ch its address will also change so I'm passing head star star in the case of print list head will not change we will just print the node that's why we are passing node star and we can get rid of this altogether we have a global node but let's write it in this way so let's do some base checking like if we are given a valid valid pointer or not so if head is equal to nil pointer or or uh, I will also check the base case like uh, 
if we have just one node like I have just one node and its next is nil and head is here in this case we don't need to reverse anything after reversal once next will also point to null and head will be here only so we can get rid of this case also so if heads next is null then also we can skip because we don't need to reverse it so bet better to add that case then we will return simply and this is if this is not the case that means we have more than one nodes then we will write our code like previous initialize previous to null current to first node and next to its next So we will iterate till current reaches here that is current becomes null so till we have current we will do currents next equal to previous and then previous becomes current because we don't need we have used the existing previous we can move previous ahead current will become next and if next was not null that means if next had not already reached the end So once this loop terminates we will update the head to point to the last node and that should work so let's call this function so we have one linked list we had inserted in the last video so this was the linked list and we will first print the original linked list then reverse the linked list and then again so this was the original list here you can see it's reversed 3 then 50 then 2 then 1 then 20 and 10 so it correctly reverses the list so in the next video we will see how to reverse the linked list using recursive function